Well, one of the biggest scandals in policing today is right in front of our eyes. It's all over the internet, but it isn't reported on all that much, and that is police foundations and their corporate funding. You might be thinking, what is a police foundation? Well, it's more or less exactly what it sounds like. It's a foundation set up by police departments to take large donations from corporations to buy new equipment and fund other different types of police projects. Now, this, of course, is on top of the massive police budgets that consistently make up 25 to 45 percent of city budgets around the country. In other words, it's a form of direct sponsorship of the police by private corporations. And the equipment that the cops are buying with that cash isn't office equipment either. In Houston, Texas, the police foundation there, as they actually state very helpfully on their own website, has used the funds to buy SWAT equipment, LRAD sound weapons, and dogs for the K-9 unit. In Philadelphia, these private funds paid for a drone, and in Atlanta, the cash was behind a massive 12,000 camera surveillance system set up by Atlanta PD. So that vicious canine bite is brought to you directly by SunTrust. The elimination of all your privacy brought to you by Wells Fargo. Oh, and the militarized repression of your protest is brought to you by Energy Transfer Partners. Some of the same companies that even tweet out Black Lives Matter. Now to give you a sense of how it all works here in LA, the police foundation actually approached Target to buy sophisticated surveillance equipment from Palantir. That's a company owned by notorious Trump supporter Peter Thiel and was jointly funded, founded by the CIA's venture capital firm NQTEL. Target obliged and gave the LAPD $200,000 to spy on normal people. And when you look at these donors, it's like the Forbes list. Bank of America gave $51,000 to the Atlanta Police Foundation, $25,000 to the Boston Cops, and $10,000 to the LAPD Foundation, all in one year. Don't cry for the LAPD, though. They got a cool $250,000 from Goldman Sachs in the same year. Coat pledged $2 million in 2018 to the Atlanta Police Foundation, and they also got $500,000 that year from Georgia Power. And it's not just about the public relation wins, but getting the ear of the top brass. In D.C., the police foundation promises regular meetings with the police chief and top leaders and an insider view on police intelligence. And the companies also purchase permanent board seats on the police foundations where they decide on the disbursement of the funds and guiding policies for the police for years to come. Marathon, the nation's largest oil company, operates a 250-acre refinery in a black working class community in Detroit. And that plant has racked up numerous violations of environmental regulations and residents connected to increased rates of cancer and asthma. And none of this seems to bother the Detroit police at all. They gave Marathon a seat on their board and took their donations to become a commanding sponsor of their annual fundraiser, along with, by the way, Verizon and the Detroit Lions. So there you have it. Not only are the cops taking up your tax dollars, that could be going to schools, jobs, housing, health care, something worthwhile. They're then using that money to violate you and other people's rights on a regular basis, but they are soliciting corporate funding as well to do the same and giving the ultra-rich insiders influence in law enforcement. So, for sure, they're protecting and serving, but it's not for you.